Uh, it's publicly known that you and Hillary Clinton are friends already for decades. Friendships in the political world are rare. What makes it that your friendship has survived? Well, I've known um, Hillary for uh, almost 30 years. Um, and I hope that when this conference takes place, she's been elected president. We sh share common values, political values, but also um, I think that these are deeply rooted in our own personal experiences. Um, and um, these uh, values uh, we've defended against um, all sorts of people who have used whatever means um, that they could, um, many of them uh, underhanded, um, in order to um, try and destroy reputations, uh, attack uh, uh, people personally, uh, to engage in what we've called the politics of personal destruction, but for um, a political uh, advantage and gain. It's not only that that is a bond of uh, friendship, but uh, rooted, um, I think, in our uh, common devotion to advancing um, democracy in the country. It sounds like a cliche, but, um, but there it is. We're a year apart uh, in age. Uh, we grew up five miles from each other. Uh, we know very much who we are. So I think that um, there's a rootedness as well in uh, our commitments and engagement. Does she realize the enormity of the responsibility she will get when she is elected as president? I think... Um, Given that, the state of the world. I think if anybody understands um, the responsibility of the presidency, it would be Hillary Clinton having uh, served in the White House uh, with her husband and uh, having been Secretary of State uh, with another president, uh, Barack Obama. Um, there are very few people in American history who've had that sort of background, who've risen to the presidency. Uh, and um, she would be a rare person, not only as the first woman, but simply as a person to assume that office. Good. Thank you, Sydney, and much looking forward to seeing you on November 12th in Amsterdam.